Good morning, and welcome to Lesson 1, Part 27. As always, this lesson is only going to make sense if you've downloaded the free PDF, the free, um, the first set of lesson texts. If you're on this video's YouTube page, you'll find the link, one of two links, just below this video. It should say um, buddhajoy.com slash um, first quarter class materials, or simply class materials. The second item on that page it'll take you to will be the free, the latest version of the free PDF. If you're not on, if you're watching this video someplace else other than its dedicated YouTube page, that's an easy fix. Just find the little YouTube icon in the bottom right, towards the bottom right hand corner of this video. Give that bad boy a click or two. See what happens. And of course, if this is your first time watching this series of videos, do yourself a favor. Start at the first one, which is Meditation Lesson 1, Part 1. Do yourself a favor. You'd be glad you did. Everyone else, fully qualified students, good, good. And remember, a, an audience member watches videos. A student actually applies the instructions enthusiastically and notices the results. So let's dig in. We're on page 7 of the first set of lesson texts. We're on the fourth exercise, the final exercise on page seven, and, and actually the final verbal exercise of this lesson. The superscription reads, uh, simple intention empowered. So you might say, let's read it. It says, completely letting go, exclamation point. Well, that could sound like an affirmation. No, no, no. It's not. An affirmation is a lie. You tell yourself about something that hasn't happened. This is an intention. You could say that's just a difference of wording. No, no, no. All these exercises, all these uh, assumptive, well-worded, rhetorical, mantra-empowered questions have been getting us up to speed have been helping us capture the momentum of letting go. We've noticed whatever um, has manifested in our life in a noticeable way, whether it's glorious, whether it's grotesque. We've noticed that whatever is manifesting in our life fails to satisfy, that it's subject to change, that it's ultimately not us or not even our possession, and that it makes great sense to let go of it. We've explored that the possibility exists that we could let go of it, that the motivation exists for us to let go of it. And yes, even the will exists. And now we're riding that momentum like a surfer riding a wave, we're riding that momentum and embracing the idea of completely letting go. We know or you, you can know or can observe through regular practice that just practicing this exercise by itself is ineffectual, but it is an excellent, excellent tool to heighten the momentum if you've done the prior exercises. So on the in-breath, completely letting go. On the out-breath, we whisper, Om Mani Padme Hum as many times as we comfortably can during the span of one breath. If you've listened and watched all these tw 26 prior videos, you've already re learned how to receive Om Mani Padme Hum, you already know what it means, you've already received the Tantric Empowerment, you've already gone through each exercise in great and useful detail. So let's play with this right now. And remember, okay, so let's do this right now. Complete letting go, Om Mani Padme Hum. Oh money about me, more 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 money about me. Remember, the key is on the in breath, we pay attention to the statement that we're mentally reciting. Now, mentally reciting, 
are silently reciting doesn't mean, you know, we try to talk during the in-breath. That's just something silly that a seven-year-old would do to sound like a monster or an, or an alien. No, no. What it means is that we're mentally either reciting the text or mentally reading the text silently. In this case, the phrase is complete letting go. On the out-breath, we're relaxing as we recite the money. That's impossible to do if you're being perfectionistic and trying to do everything perfect and flawlessly. Just reconcile yourself to the fact that we're all great goofballs. Or at best, we're fortunate fuck-ups. So let's not set unrealistic expectations. Remember to really relax as we whisper the money. Let me check ahead. Yep. In the next lesson, we're going to explore our first set of mystic exercises. All these exercises, the two concentration exercises, the dissatisfaction contemplation, the impermanence contemplation, the not me contemplation, the not mine contemplation, the not graspable contemplation, the possibility contemplation, the motivation contemplation, the volition contemplation, these have all been intellectual exercises. Tomorrow, we, I'm sorry, tomorrow, the next lesson, we're going to start you off, not the lesson, oof, all these wrong terms, the next part of this lesson, the next video, we're going to start you off with the first set, or the first portion of the first set of the mystic exercises. These intellectual exercises in Tibet would fall under the heading of Lom Rim. The next video's exercises would fall under the heading of Chog Chain or Chok Chain, depending upon which province of Tibet is influencing your pronunciation. Um, this is very, very powerful, powerful stuff. Some people say, what's more power important, the intellectual path or the mystic path? The answer is simple. Go ask a bird. Hey, seagull. Which uh, wing is more important, your left or your right? The bird will say, both please, both are important. Without both my rings, I can't take to the skies. And likewise, contemplatives, without both the intellectual contemplations and the mystical exercises, we can't ascend to nirvana. Not in a handful of lifetimes, but in a handful of months, weeks, or even days. Thank you for your time and your kind attention. Thank you for your support and your enthusiasm to both watch the videos and apply them. I want to remind you to click the like button just below the video. And afterwards, three social media buttons will appear. Why don't you click those as well, share this with your friends. Also below this video, you'll find a link. It should say uh, buddhajoy.com slash webinar. You go there and you'll be able to register for the next series of weekly webinars that begin um, Friday, the 2nd of November. I'll see you there.